There once was a man who lived in a not so far away land. He was a proud father of two children, a boy and a girl, whom he loved very dearly. A girl was the obedient and responsible one, and the other, a boy, always dreamt of a world beyond the farm. He had big dreams and thought fondly of what life in a faraway city must be like. Despite how much his father tried to reach out to him, he never lived up to his father's expectations, and instead, spurned his father's love. Whenever our boy was on his own, he would dream of life outside the farm, of life in a grand city, a distance away. He would imagine his life away from the fields, away from the tractors. And in a city of lights, music, fast cars, and pretty girls. A boy and uncle worked in the plantation from a young age. The loving father patiently taught them how to manage the farm. And eventually, to take over the running of it from him. A girl was a dependable one who was always eager to learn. She did chores in the farm to the best of her ability, feeding the animals, clearing the sheds, and sowing the seeds when it was planting time. A boy had the annual task of preparing the ground. Weeding, sowing, and harvesting. However, our boy hated life on the farm. He often thought of the city which he had seen on the TV, and believed in his heart that paradise really did exist in this world. The call of the city was so strong that nothing on the farm interested him. Often, our boy would find whatever opportunity he could to skive off, as he grew more and more weary of the farm and its chores. Our boy's father, on the other hand, never gave up on his son. He tried all ways to encourage and instruct our boy, having long heart-to-heart -heart talks with him, asking our girl to advise her brother, and at times even reprimanding him. But it was all to no avail. The father often explained to our boy that all this was for his own good, and that one day this whole plantation will be his. But our boy refused to listen. He tells his father that he hates his life in the farm. He hates his sister. He hates all that his father is doing for him. Instead, he asks for his inheritance so that he could leave home. And live a life he had always wanted. With each passing day, the dissatisfaction within our boy grew till he could hardly contain it. Finally, he had enough, and decided to leave home and pursue the life he had always dreamt of. Though he knew it would break his father's heart, he went ahead and boldly demanded his share of the inheritance. He was determined to break free from his father and live the life where he can be his own man. Seeing the determination in his son's eyes, the old man knew there was no dissuading him this time. With a heavy heart, he handed to his son his share of the inheritance. And watched with teary eyes as his son departed. Despite how hard he tried, the father could not stop worrying about our boy and longing for his son to return.
loves the ballpark, but lately he ain't coming round. Things have been so different since his youngest boy left town. It's hard to know the reason why he finally chose to leave, but he's gone away. And his father waits, and he is watching, and he is hoping. In his newfound wealth and freedom, and indulge in all that his heart desired. attracted companions to join him in his life on the fast lane. Rock and 
Jesus, for the blood applied. Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved glorious light. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Squander 